I joined just because that was the only way to stay in touch with people, and I didn't want to be the only person without it. Uh, because all my friends were doing it um, freshman year, uh, I vowed never to join it, but um, I caved, just like everyone else ends up doing. Because everyone was on it, and it was a good way to keep in contact with people who didn't go to the same school as you, or people who went to the same school as you. In February 2004, Facebook.com started out as a small website for Harvard students. Today, Facebook is the ninth most visited website on the internet and is used by nearly 5 million college students in the United States. We expanded to more schools and then expanded to more schools and as time has gone by we've um, made it to the all colleges in the nation and um, 22,000 high schools as well um, have access to the site. So, no, it's come a, come a really long way from, from the beginning. Facebook is a great way to keep in touch with friends from other schools as well as advertise events. But as BU student Giselle Rivers found out, more people are looking at your Facebook profile besides your friends. Yeah, my roommates are Facebook addicts, so um, we live off campus and they'll use Facebook to post parties. And unfortunately, when you post it on Facebook, everybody can get to it. So we've had a couple in like, incidents now where we've had way more people that we want at our house and people that weren't invited. So it does become an issue because everybody can get the information and it's not as specified as with like, so. Most college students are unaware that strangers showing up at their parties may be their least concern. A prospective employer was all set to hire a Vermont Technical College student but he changed his mind after looking at their Facebook profile. An Oklahoma University student received a visit from the Secret Service after posting a message about President Bush in a Bush Sucks group. Think the pictures you post from parties are funny? Well, those can be used against you as well. George Washington University student housing stumbled upon a junior's photo album from a Super Bowl party. He later received an email from the university saying he was in violation of his apartment contract. Facebook spokesperson Chris Hughes says there is a way to protect your profile from unwanted visitors. We try our best to streamline the privacy options, so uh, adjusting what information you want to share and who you want to share it with is uh, even easier than it was before. Um, so just from the beginning, we've been interested in giving our users complete control over what information uh, they want to share and who they want to share it with. So um, if there are students at schools where uh, faculty might um, discipline them for having a beer in their dorm room or something like that, then they can simply go in and make it so that their profile information is not available to those faculty members. With what we know now, hopefully you'll think twice before joining a group called Cheap Vodka Helps Me Black Out. I'm Lisa Puglisi for Inside Boston.